Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is Tuesday, and that means it's time for another Tuesday toss-up. Tuesday toss-up. We're doing another Tuesday toss-up. As always, Bill poured me two glasses of whiskey, two glasses of whiskey. I'm drinking them blind, completely blind, no idea what these are, but I'm gonna pick my favorite one, and then we're gonna figure out what they are. So, without further ado, let's dive in and drink these little things little things. I don't know what I was saying about that. Anyhow, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I'm grateful for your support. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and leave a comment. It always helps. It makes a difference. So without further ado, let's dive in here. Cheers. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Glass number one. Glass number one. I actually did it right. Glass one, glass two. Okay. Glass number one. On the nose. Doesn't burn the nose hairs. Smells like a vanilla bean. Has some proof on it for sure. Doesn't like super burn the nose hairs, but I can definitely tell there's some proof there. It's sweet, but not overly sweet. Definitely has like a rich vanilla bean, maybe in a light hint of like, like a banana fosters, like a, like a little bit of banana makes me think of a million different pours now because I like smelled a hint of banana. Not like a bad banana, not like a Laffy Taffy. This is more of like a, a real banana, like that's just ripe, that's in some like creamy molasses. Smells nice. Let's take a sip, see what happens. Mmm, wow. It's like brown sugar, vanilla, caramel. Oh. Yum. A little bit of like, like I said, a little bit of that banana note. Warm, definitely warm for sure. This has got to be like somewhere between that 120 and 130 range. Oh, mm, I like that. It makes me think of breakfast. Now I just want breakfast. Mm. Give me breakfast. Definitely think this is a bourbon. Ooh, could be wrong, could be right. I don't know, but I think, I'm like thinking of like, this is like got some like Old Forester, like 1792. What else do I get bananas out of? Oh no, it's giving me Old Forester 1792 kind of vibes. Mm. La Cucaracha, ooh, even Cooper Craft. No, Cooper Cra Cooper's Craft is more of like a, and it's way too low of proof. Cooper's Craft is more of like a Laffy Taffy. This is like a lot higher proof and more like rich and refined. Like it. Okay, now let me take a sip of water and yes, for once, I actually remembered my water. Woo, I'm winning, I'm winning, winning. All right, well, let's check it out here. Moving on to glass number two. Huh. This smells like breakfast too. It smells more like a baked, a baked banana bread. That's what it smells like. Like banana bread you just took out of the oven with a little bit of like brown sugar, uh, almonds, almonds, definitely almonds. Banana, almond, brown sugar, not overly sweet. Definitely does not burn the nose hairs. It smells sweeter than glass one. Glass one smells like richer, like more brown sugar, cinnamon syrupy molasses kind of stuff this one smells a little bit drier but like more like banana bread yes definitely like banana bread love it, it smells good it's banana bread with like almonds or pecan oh pecans yeah it smells good mm. okay now let's taste it oh dang yeah that is like sweet pecans definitely pecans banana bread. Oh, that's so good. It doesn't taste as warm as glass one tasted to me, but now I'm like, God, what was it? Oh, that is really good. I'm, oh, mm. That is so good. One's like, glass one is like breakfast, and glass two is like dessert, like baked banana bread. It's so freaking good. No matter what, I don't care what I pick here. Oh, yum. Both of these are really good and I love bananas, so I'm like into these for sure. Definitely into these. 
And actually, the more I sit there with glass number two, it definitely has some proof too. So it's throwing me off because I'm like, what has those proofs? Definitely bourbon, not finished, well, higher proof, somewhere in the old first Forrester 1792 line. It's gotta be, it has to be. Okay, back to glass one. I need to, I need to pick a winner. Okay, mm, a little bit of cinnamon on there too. Glass number two. Oh yeah, baby. I love the flavor that you give me. You make me happy when I drink whiskey. These are good in my belly. That was stupid. That was like an impromptu song. Mm. Ooh. I gotta go glass number two over glass number one just because it's so, oh, so rich, so balanced. I like, oh, I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Okay, this is hard. I'm going glass number two over glass number one. Definitely got some proof. I mean, we're talking like 125. Mm. Okay, so let's figure this out. I'm picking glass two over glass one. So let's find out what glass one is first. Here we go. Glass number one. Ha! 1792 foolproof. 125 proof. Okay, I feel better now. I don't feel like it. I wasn't losing it. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay, now let's fill, figure out what glass number two is and the winner that I picked, but I told you I like both of these and I do like 1792 foolproof. So let's see what glass number two is. Woo! Old Forester single barrel, barrel strength, Argonaut pick, 124.7 proof. Holy freaking moly. I, I did say, I said, these are giving me Old Forester and 1792 vibes. Wow, so freaking good. Love this blind. I love that I picked it. I thought that was, I knew that was warm. I was like, it's gotta be like 125 to 130. Oh, I just forgot about the single barrel, barrel strength old forester. Dang it. Okay, I love it. Great blind. Wow, I would highly recommend both of these. Let me know which one is your favorite. These are really two great pours. I love them. I really do enjoy them. And I need to drink them more. Sometimes I just don't drink them as much. Definitely need to revisit these, love them. Yeah, that's all I got for you. That's another Tuesday toss up. I'm Dara, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.